and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and I'm a model and dancer based here in South Korea. And today I am going to show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So basically I'm going to take as a reference the pictures that we took on our outdoor maternity shoot. I already uploaded a video about the behind the scenes on it before so you can check it out. I showed you all the process that we did um, to do the shoot by ourselves. I really like doing shootings. It's very, um, it's a very nice hobby of mine because working as a model, you always have to do shootings that you don't choose by yourself. You don't choose your concept. You don't choose the clothes. It's like a job, right? So that's why I really enjoy doing pictures by myself and creating the whole process by myself. So that's why I like to just um, get ready, look for inspiration first of all, then think about outfits, think about the location, get ready for my hair and makeup. Get also some things that I also like to do by myself like steaming the clothes and also choosing since it's a couple shoot also choosing the outfits for my husband that will match my outfits and so on I like really the whole process and it's a really nice activity of mine that I really love my husband also is always on board with it and yeah I hope that he also enjoys it as much as I do or I don't know if he only does it to make Make me happy but anyway we always have a good time so basically I talk about all this process and I give so many tips on how to organize and shoot your own outdoor maternity pictures on my blog post that will be linked up here or here now I'm going to show you only how I edit the pictures I edit all my pictures on Lightroom I don't use any other application at the moment and I also have my own preset because I really like to have consistent mood on my Instagram feed and it's very vintage inspired. I really like when the colors are not too bright and that's why I like always using this style of um, preset. Of course, this is a preset and therefore I'm not just going to upload the pictures on Lightroom and then <laughs> just put the filter on it and that's it. I have to match every single picture with the picture's lighting condition, color condition and so on. So let's get started. I already chose some favorite. Today I'm going to show you how I edit the pictures based on maybe this picture. So I'm gonna open Lightroom. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create an album and I'm gonna add the pictures. Here it is. So as you can see this is the, the original picture and then I choose I have two presets and you can already see here that the colors are very very different from the original one. I actually already like this mood much better than the original picture because the original picture the sky is just too blue and the rest of the picture is not well lit. So if you like my preset I'm going to publish on the same day as I'm publishing this video also on my blog a post about my Instagram preset. You can just uh, copy it <laughs> and right now I'm not going over the single stuff that I set up on my preset I'm just gonna change it to adapt it to this picture so you can see that my contrast is always very low I never change the exposure I think if you change the exposure it will never look good also if I just change it a little bit it already looks like overexposed so to the next point the contrast uh, you can see it's very low so sometimes um, I like to make it even lower for example on this picture as for highlights and shadows that's usually how I choose the lightning condition of the uh, uh, of the picture and I always use a trade-off between shadows and highlights and this picture I can really see that I need to put up a little bit the highlights but at the same time if I decrease the shadow it will also uh, get brighter so I try to use a little bit of a trade-off same with whites and blacks usually I don't really 
touch these too often but if I see that I cannot do a lot with the shadows especially when it comes to my hair my hair sometimes when I use this filter it looks rather light brown instead of black so I try to adjust it with the black then I move on to the color I can see that the temperature is very high here and I think it doesn't look very good in this picture because it's more like a dry vegetation so I don't want it to be like too warm I put it down as for the saturation I will put it a little bit up so that the color of the grass will look much um, like more yellow the vibrance I will not change i think and tint i usually don't touch it because i think it's it looks already good like this i already like it the only thing that i don't like so much you can see again the difference to the original picture the sky is still very different it's not blue enough so that's why i will go inside the color you can actually choose to use like the light blue or the blue but what I usually do I use this um, feature and I just touch the color that I want to change a little bit I don't change the hue but I will change the saturation to make it more blue you just have to go front and back like you just have to move here at the picture with your finger and you can see how the color changes I go a little bit up with saturation and the luminance I will put it a little bit down yes so it already looks a little bit more blue than before I'm not gonna change anything more on um, on colors then I go on effects I'm just gonna show you I'm not gonna change anything here but you can see that I put up a little bit of texture that is very important usually when you have profile shots that's why I'm not gonna change anything if you put down the texture for example for your profile then if you have a little bit impurities in your skin if you put down the texture you will not see them as much so here it's uh, you cannot see our faces so I'm not gonna change anything about it and the only thing that I also changed here is like grain on 40 on detail I just sharpened the picture a little bit more then I use noise reduction usually I have it on the same scale as the sharpening same as color noise reduction as well yeah that's it I'm already pretty happy with this picture anyway you can read all the detailed information about my preset on my blog so you don't need to pause the video and to <laughs> and to check uh, all the single details last of the thing that I'm gonna do before exporting the picture is I'm gonna crop the picture I'm gonna crop it the size 4 to 5 which is the uh, size that Instagram uses what I make always sure is that when cropping a picture that is like full body the feet are on the very low edge of the picture and that the head ends exactly on the second line from 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 the bottom of course make sure that like it's in the center usually i always export it first to the camera roll and then i'm gonna post it on instagram <laughs> and you can see it i just posted the picture yesterday on instagram I also pic uh, posted some other pictures and yeah so that's it for this video if you're interested in my preset you can visit my blog post I will link it up here here or <laughs> also in the description down below let me show what you think about this editing style it's much different than the original picture it's a lot of editing I would really like to be able to make like real vintage pictures with a real camera but um, my skills <laughs> are not good enough for that so that's why I just prefer taking pictures with my phone and then edit them on Lightroom thankfully there is Lightroom let me know in the comments below if you like this video also make sure to subscribe to my channel and to like this video and yeah that's it for today and see you next time